Hi, Chris here. Apple just launched a new iPhone 14 Pro with an improved camera system and other new features like the dynamic island. I have here the iPhone 14 Pro Max in space black with 256 GB of storage and in this video I will test what the new camera system means for taking photos and videos. Let's get started. But first let's unbox it. As you can see the lenses are quite big and they are finished with black on the side. And also here you have this black finish. And you get this lightning to USB-C cable. And the typical instructions. Here in Europe we get the SIM card tool. And the sticker. Okay, now let's get outside. The iPhone 14 Pro camera system consists of the 48 megapixel main camera with the new quad pixel sensor, the ultra wide camera for wide or macro shots and the telephoto camera with the 3x zoom. In the iPhone camera app you can switch between the different lenses by using the zoom buttons with the numbers. 0.5x stands for the ultra wide 1 and 2x for the main camera and 3 for the telephoto lens. By holding down these buttons you get access to the zoom wheel. Here you can use the digital zoom for photos up to 15 times and for videos 9 times. And this is what the resulting video looks like while switching the lenses. Another use case for the ultra wide lens is to use it for taking macro photos and videos. Here I'm taking a video of a little spider. Look how close I got with my iPhone. This is how it looks like while taking the video. As you can see the wind moving the leaves made it hard to focus. And this is the resulting video stabilized in Final Cut Pro. Here is another macro video where I positioned the iPhone on a tripod next to a flower and waited for insects to land on the flower. And this is the resulting video. Next let's test the new 48 megapixel sensor. Therefore I activated Apple Pro RAW in camera format. This gives you a little row button in the camera app that allows to switch between normal and row mode. Here I took a photo from the Confital beach. And this is the photo in 12 megapixel. And for comparison here is the photo in 48 megapixel without applying any filters. Let's zoom in on this little house of the lifeguards and compare the quality. If you look at the solar panels or the people in the foreground, you can see a difference in resolution. But keep in mind that the raw photo will result in a larger file size. The difference in this example for example is 2.8 megabyte versus 80.6 megabyte for the RAW photo. Okay, this is the perfect location to try out the new action mode. Let's go for a run. Therefore, let's activate this little running man in the corner. And now you can see that we cropped to 2.8K. Let's start the video. 
This is what you will see on the screen while recording. And this is what the resulting video looks like. That's quite impressive. Now let's turn to the other side and talk about the front-facing camera. Apple integrated the True Depth camera into the Dynamic Island, but in bright sunlight you can still see the camera sensors in the black area. So now let's check out the True Depth camera or the front-facing camera. In the moment I'm in the normal mode, but now we can switch to cinematic mode and see how we can blur out the background. You find the cinematic mode to the left from the standard video mode. So, and this would be the cinematic mode. Now you're seeing my face uh, in focus and now I can switch to the background and back again on my face. Now let's edit the video directly in the Photos app. In the timeline find the moment where you want to switch the focus. Then click on the background. Then find the moment where you want to switch back the focus and click on the face. Now let's see the result. So, and this would be the cinematic mode. Now you're seeing my face uh, in focus. And now I can switch to the background and back again on my face. Now let's check out the new low light capabilities. Here I am filming in a dark corner of a square that is not lit very well. And you can see pretty much everything. And this is a photo I took in the same place with the main camera. The new sensor on the main camera is now 65% larger than the sensor on the iPhone 13 Pro and therefore more capable in low light. Here is a shot with the ultra wide lens. The front camera in normal mode and in portrait mode. And the telephoto lens. Next let's test out action mode in the dark. Keep in mind that action mode switches back automatically to the 0.5 ultra wide lens, which is not as light sensitive. Instead, you want to switch back to the main camera at 1x to use the bigger sensor in the dark. Here I am hand holding the iPhone while driving on my bike around the fountain, and the shot looks pretty much as if it was taken with a gimbal. Impressive. Here I have a direct comparison of action mode using the ultra wide lens versus the main camera. Okay, this was my first look at the camera system of the new iPhone 14 Pro. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. For more videos like this, subscribe and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.